Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I thought it would be fun to share with you what I've got at the Sephora VIB sale and I wanted to do it kind of in a get ready with me type of video. I put in two orders on Sephora's website and I might go today because the sale is ending soon and there's a few things that I wanted to get. Let's start and get ready. On my skin I have my Rode skincare and my daily moisturizer from La Roche-Posay. I'm just gonna clip my hair like so. Okay, so you guys, I've been loving my dog in my previous videos and he is still with us today. I hope he is going to behave, but for now he seems like he is doing great. Let's go ahead and put on a little bit of the Elephant D drop on the skin. So I feel like I got really nice things at the sale, didn't go overboard. And one thing I was really excited to get was the Owl's Lab foundation. So speaking of the foundation, I got the shade 220 and I filmed a short and TikTok video uh, with the foundation. I think the color is okay, but I might go today in store just to make sure that I have the good color. Also yesterday I applied it with a brush and I did one pump on each side so you can go and see that video over here but now I wanted to see what it would look like if I just apply it with my fingers one pump because two pump was a little bit too much coverage for me and usually I wear tinted moisturizer but I want to have something a little bit more covering because I have dark spot on my skin and there are days where I want to hide them more than other days. Okay, and just so you know, it applies so well with my fingers. Wow. Honestly, you guys, this foundation is so good. I love it. And it's so skin-like. It's not as dewy and glowy as my Holy Grail our last tint and moisturizer veil thing. But I like that, because we don't always want to be too much glowy. What do you think? Do you think I should go and get the lighter shade? Let me know. I got the mini size of the Westman Atelier Contour Stick. So let's try this together. I've seen a lot of good reviews about this, so what I, I'm going to do is like that. And like, I'm not a pro, I just do what it feels right. And I love to add some on my eyelid. Okay, I love the color. It's not too warm. Yeah. I'm gonna go in and use my Merit brush to blend this out. Oh, I also wanted to update you guys. I did a get ready with me where I said that I wanted to take horseback riding lessons and for some reason, it appears that it's so popular that I cannot get like classes anywhere. So that's a bummer. And it started to get very cold here, so I don't know. To me, it's kind of an outdoor activity. It might be something that I will do in the springtime. So I think the contour stick looks very good. It's in the bis biscuit color, biscuit, biscuit, it's in French. Then, I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Concealer. I got a sample from the Tower 28 Concealer and that's one of the reasons why I might go in today in Sephora to get that because it is very good. But do I need another concealer? That's the question. Probably not, you know? I love this one too, so I might just save my money and not get anything else. There you go. I'm gonna set my concealer with the finishing powder in the Leopard palette from Hourglass. Like that. Then I got this from Tarte. I don't know if it's going to be discontinued because it was already on sale on the site, on the website, so. So you have the eyeliner on one side and I usually wear brown eyeliner, but the reason why I got this is for the other end. It's like a mauve color, mauve brown color, and it's super pretty and it's waterproof. So to do a quick makeup, I felt like that would be really great. And I just smudge it like that with my fingers. 
I always like stretch my eyelid with my finger and I've seen a video of a girl saying that like your eyelid is never stretched like that normally so you shouldn't do it um, so I'm trying really hard to apply that when I do my makeup okay I'm gonna go in with the bronzer in the hourglass palette here with my, my hourglass brush I'm curious to know what you guys got during the sale because I feel like there was so many great things to get it, it was hard to just like not spend all of my money it makes me happy to get makeup you know makeup and skincare another thing that I got and you guys have been amazing giving me all of your recommendation for mascara and someone recommended to get a waterproof mascara so that my lashes hold better throughout the day so that's not from Sephora but I was really curious to see what drugstore mascara could have been good for my lashes I ended up getting the lash sensational waterproof mascara and I was disappointed yeah I ended up getting back my hourglass because it's good it's good I love it it works for me so I feel like if I just spend 30 bucks on something that I don't like I know I can return it, but I, I hate returning things at Sephora. We are going to keep on using the Hourglass Mascara for the time being. But I got a lash curler. I never really used a lash curler before. I don't know if this is going to change anything. Like I said, my lashes are really short and straight. I don't know. Should I... Am I supposed to do one eye and then put my mascara on? I feel like I'm getting better. This is really like scary going in with my forever trusted mascara from hourglass i love it the one that i almost got close to buying was the ysl mascara but like i got scared you guys i didn't know if i would like it my dog is behaving today <laughs> he is being really good it's cute how he like turns his hair it feels like if he wants to make sure that he hears everything there you go baby he's getting used to me filming videos yes i'm talking about you <laughs> can go back to sleep now he's like mom don't bother me if you want me to be quiet well, let me rest let me sleep am i the only one who's like whenever your dog is sleeping they are so cute that the only thing that you want to do is wake them up cuddle them so hard that they wake up or it's just me maybe it's just me a few things that i've got that i am not going to use on this video is my clarence Makeup remover. This is amazing for removing your eye makeup. Got a Donna Karen deodorant, Tan Lux face drop bronzer. These are really good. I was out of them, so I got another one. I only use gel, clear gel. I don't really use any color for my brows. I just kind of comb them like so. This is the benefit 24 hours brow setter. This thing holds your eyebrow so well. Okay, one thing that I was so excited to get, I never tried any nude stick blush before and I got this one. We are going to try it together. I got the color in the nude. Let me show you. It comes with a brush on the other end, but I never use these kind of things. So that's the color, very pretty, like that. Wow, that is very pretty. Yeah, we like that. I think that the sale is an amazing time to get things that you want to try out. Makes all the difference when you get a discount, right? So that's the blush. I love it very much. I'm also going to use it on my lips. The last thing that I got is this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. Let me swatch it for you. Over here, I just outline my lips like that. I want to try to use the blush on the lip just a little bit. Do we like that? I feel like everything that I've got is very good. The only thing, like I said, is I don't know if the foundation is a tad too dark. I am going to go in store and see if I should exchange it for another color. But overall, I am really, really happy with everything that I've got. My favorite things are the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pencil, the Nude Stick Blush, the West 
Westman Atelier contour stick and obviously the foundation is amazing. I really like the way it applied so nicely with my ends. That's it for this video you guys, my dog has been amazing. Hand of applause for the dog. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and myself as a content creator. Let's make this official. Subscribe so you don't miss any videos that I post and I post every single week. Mm -hmm.